Hello guys, uh, this is the second time of recording this video, so hopefully I don't get too boring. Um, so anyway, my friend uh, Jan, or Yan in his language, um, told asked me if I wanted to uh, uh, help him make a game, and I said as long as he makes the graphics... Uh, that I would do the code. Um, and so anyway, we're, the game we're going to name is Error32. Don't worry about that warning symbol, that's just SVN being uh, really cautious. Um, so basically, uh, I was going to use a Fox server, but um, I didn't want to, I wanted to try making my own server and for those of you who don't know what a Fox server is, it's uh, just basically a uh, looks like a black uh, s command prompt with uh, all sorts of gadgets and stuff on it that you can uh, hook up your game to um, and use that as a server and it's got its uh, security and stuff all set up for you. Um, not that it's easy to set up, it's just, uh, easier. But anyway, I, um, decided I wanted to learn how to make my own server, and so, um, I, uh, started programming my own server <laughs> in, uh, here. Um, you can change the port and stuff, and then it's got a list of the players, IPs, names, and sockets which is pretty much the same thing as this but it's got a port mixed into it and stuff it's uh, cool like that um then this is uh just sort of the rest of the code and this is the lengthy part of it but, um, yeah so that's the server um the cool thing about this server is uh when i got it stable enough i think i can uh well i can just uh, build it, and uh, you can install it on a Windows computer in about um, five minutes. The only hard part is port forwarding if you're not a technical person. So um, anyway, here is uh, inside the game, and this is Jan's terrain, but um, he didn't feel like installing the right version of Unity, and so when we imported it, we uh, it's not it's broken so can't show you that until we fix it um, so anyway uh, when I start this up okay, when I start this up <laughs> um, I'll have these uh, these are most half of these buttons are just testing buttons so you'll probably just have a login button when you get down the game but um over here you can see the variables um, and uh, so if um, I want to I, if this isn't gonna be like a, a very a company server um, then I can easily uh, put an IP address and port next to each other like kinda like Minecraft go and look up a server and la di da you're on the server so anyway I'm gonna if you look over here you'll see when I connect so you can see uh, player 107 point whatever connected and there's my port number which uh, if you remember that socket contains the IP and port and uh, I'm gonna log in um, that's like a separate piece of code so that's why um, it's separate from connecting. The um, then the server uh, is uh, when you log in. It uh, figures out, hey, your IP is this, and that matches uh, this. That's a certain number. So I'm gonna put your name at that number in the list of players I have. And so um, that does that, and. Uh, when uh, you quit, the uh, server will disconnect you. 
but to uh, show you guys that uh, this thing can do uh, multiple players real quick I'm gonna uh, build real quick actually yeah I'm gonna build no wait there's too many scenes in this Delete. Um, hopefully this doesn't take too long. Um, otherwise, I gotta do video editing. I hate video editing. All right, so we're gonna open this up. Try to squeeze more windows in here. Um, that's weird. That's all black. That's not supposed to be black. One second. All right, so I got it all figured out. I thought it was uh, like the camera that you needed a camera, but it turns out I just had the wrong scene in the build. So um, I'm gonna change my name here to might as well just go with Jan, um, and I'm gonna connect, and I'm gonna go to login, and I'm gonna do the same on here, and now here's a if you keep uh, take a look at this you will be able to see when I click list which is a list of players that I get both Jan here and myself and so that is awesome um, the send all button is uh, pretty much done but uh, it's just not set up on the server side and so I'm not gonna press it I don't feel like uh, glitching something up um, but anyway, so that is my first update for Error 32. Uh, hope I didn't bore you guys to death, and uh, y'all have fun.